Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. So I don't hear you. Of course, you're on mute. Good evening, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Welcome. How was your day? What up? Was it good? Nobody wants to share with me. Come on. You had a good day? I don't hear you, Lenny. No. Uh, I don't have a good day because I go to the doctor. You went to the doctor? Yeah. You're sick? Do you have coronavirus? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a problem with my back. Ah, uh, yeah, you told us that. Yeah. Uh, but it's a different situation, not from sitting, right? Or from sitting for too long. Yeah, it's too long. Wow. Okay, let's see how you're doing class because you have to sit for one hour. Okay, well, I hope everyone else had a good day and I hope you get better soon, Lenning. It's going to be a process, right? Thank you. But I hope yeah. it's soon. Okay, well, last night we were practicing... Um, relative clauses okay we are going to continue working on that if you missed last night's class um you can catch up with this right okay so what we have to do right now is individually okay, you're going to do this individually but you're going to work in pairs at the same time so i want you to write okay three names of famous people. Okay. I want you to write three famous places. Three objects, okay? Three important dates. And places, people, objects, important dates. That's about it, okay? And this is gonna be secret. Similar to the game we played last night, this is gonna be secret, all right? So don't tell your classmate what it is because you're gonna have to give hints or give clues. Give hints for your partner to guess, for your classmate to guess what the words are. Okay, so um, imagine, right? Right now I'm gonna write names of important people you're gonna be in pairs so take time to write them when you finish writing start the game okay for instance um, i'm gonna give you a clue using three one of the names for you to guess what the name is okay so i will say it's an actor okay, this is an example guys of a hint it's an actor who, who plays Jack in a Titanic. Since I'm talking about a person, right? I'm using the relative clause, who? What is the answer? DiCaprio. DiCaprio. Uh -huh. So imagine my three names are Leonardo DiCaprio, right? Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, imagine I have Okay, another clue to so that you can guess the second one. It's the person who, no, just one example, guys, all right. But you're gonna do three. Okay, a place. For a place, I'm gonna have to use relative clause, where, right? So I'm gonna say it's the city. You don't need to write it, I'm just writing it for you. So it's the city where, um, you can buy high-end technology. What city is it? Who knows the answer? Japan. Yeah, but what is the city? Um, Tokyo. Tokyo, exactly. Very good. That's the answer. Great job. So this is the example and you found the, uh, 
you guess the answer. Okay, now an object. For an object, what relative clause can I use, guys? What relative clause do you use for objects? Which? Which, exactly. Which, okay. So, we're gonna say, An object or it's it's a device in the positive, okay, it's a device which you use to call your friends. What is the answer? Cell phone. It's a cell phone. Very good. So the idea with this game, guys, is to practice relative clauses, okay? Similar to the game last night. In three important days, what relative clause are we gonna use? For a Dates, guys, what relative clause do we use? We're gonna use when for dates because it's time, right? So when. Okay. And an example can be in, in objects which or that to which yes, you can also use that. So here I can say it's the day when you were Barn. So what is the what is the answer guys? The day when you were born, how do you call that day? Your day? Yes, that's the answer. Letting you know all the answers. <laughs> that would be your birthday, exactly. Yes. Is that clear? So first, right. Three famous people, three famous places, three objects, three important days. When you finish, start, take turns, right? One person reads, gives the clues, the other person gives the clues too, and you take turns. Ready? Okay. Here. Yes, first take three or four minutes to write down the names quickly, and then you start practicing, okay? Let's do that in pairs. If you have questions, you can send me a message here on, on Zoom so I can help you, okay? But let's do it right now. Okay, accept the invitation, please. Let's practice, let's play. Accept the invitation, everyone. Click on accept. Um, okay, three names yeah. of famous people, names, actors, and At the movies. Uh, okay, no, 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 but that is uh, secret. Uh, wait, no, wait, guys. Juanjo, write down three what, names, three, 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 three. It's individual. It's individual. Yes, it's when you the, finish, the other person has to uh, guess what you have on your notebook. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. I understand. Right. The objects and three important dates. That's first. So, yes, first individually. Yes. Okay, right. let's do that right now. Take time. Take three or four minutes to do it. Hi, you're writing the objects and the things? I'm working. Okay, great. <laughs> think, think, think. Person is who painting the... It's a who person paint? who, paint, who paints or who is paint? the person who painted? Who paints. Uh -huh. The painting, the Mona Lisa. Ah, uh, it's the person who painted Mona Lisa. Okay. It's the person who painted Mona Lisa. Mm -hmm. What's the answer, Benjamin? Ah, oh, Leonardo da Vinci. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very yeah. easy. Right, good. <laughs> okay. It's your turn. Appear in, in the game, this <laughs> Top Gun. 
space G U N. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Is a Hi. Eh, eh, comenzaré con las primeras oraciones. Eh, I work and how we come to you party. Eh, o, y la otra sería I just waiting no wow has he yeah, you have to give a hint though. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's not oh. a hint though. Okay, Pedro, what did you write? Hold on. Mm. Pedro, what hint did you uh, write? I, I don't uh, Give us hints for your words. Uh, finished it. Yep. <laughs> you finished? No, not yet. Okay. Um, and you, yes, Roberto, you finished? Question. Uh, just say I, I write the the names, uh -huh, famous but, people, okay. uh, place, and TV. But I have a doubt. Uh huh. Tell me. I want to know uh, when we speak about famous people. Uh, we have to use a performance or play. An actor. Mm -hmm. um, for example, um, an actor uh, is, uh, I don't know how to say, but, mm -hmm. If I speak about um, Jerry Maguire, mm -hmm. he he was uh, Spider-Man in, in in his movie. Yeah. So he is performance uh, Spider-Man or plays Spider-Man. Ah, uh, he played Spider-Man. He played. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. What's the difference with performance? Perform is um, it's the way you do something. For example, at work, you're performing well. The performance is slow, you can say. But in a play, you act. In a movie, you play a role. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So your question should be, it's the actor who played Spider-Man. Who plays? Who plays? Okay. Like Spider-Man, and they have to give you the answer. They have to guess the word, but don't say the word. Okay. okay. Pedro, you're ready? Yes, I think. <laughs> okay, great. Give us your first hint. Go ahead. Don't tell us okay. the word. Tell us a hint. Okay. So it's an um a person uh -huh. who play soccer it's okay. so famous um i know he he play in barcelona football club uh, what's the answer so, Roberto? It's, yes yeah, it's very yeah, good it's that's messy. the answer very good okay now you roberto um she's an actress mm -hmm. she's an actress who plays 
um, like uh, teenagers uh -huh. um, never been kissed. It's a man. No, it's a woman. It's a woman. The movie is never been kissed. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I didn't see. You can Google it, Pedro. Google never been kissed. Oh, and maybe okay. you'll get that. Yeah. Or Roberto, you can say general names because you know the names of actors, but that is hard. <laughs> that is a hard question. <laughs> we can talk about Nayib Bukele, for example, about um, presidents. Yeah. Yeah, but the name of the movie? Famous people. Never been kissed. No. Drew Barrymore. Ah, oh, that's the answer. Drew Barrymore. Okay. Yeah, she's famous. Okay, next one, Marvin. Okay, are we practicing already? No, yeah. oh, let's start. It doesn't matter. Let's start with the words you have. Okay, Irania, let's do the first one. Okay. It's an um, it's an actor who have a cartoon mm -hmm. and always have a beer. A beard. Beard. Uh -huh. Oso. Creo que sí mm, se dice. A bear. A bear. I don't know. Do you know, Ana? Mm, Homer Simpson. Mm, no. It's a cartoon, and right? Not an actor. Uh -huh. Have cartoon, an actor, and have movies too. Mm, mm. No idea. I don't know. And it's very funny. He has a bear. That's probably Adam Sandler. Mm -mm. Oh. What's the mm -hmm. answer, Irania? That's very difficult. I don't know. Is Mr. Bean. <laughs> ah, Mr. Bean has a cartoon, oh, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Very good. Okay, Anna, start with yours. Okay. Uh, Did you? No. no. It's an object that you... That you, uh-huh. That you... Can use... Fit. Uh, repeat, please. I don't understand. It's an object that you mm -hmm. put on your feet. Ah, put. Yes. Ah, you you can. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't listen to his music. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is very easy. Is the president of the El Salvador? <laughs> no, but it's who? Say, it's the person who governs El Salvador. Yeah, use relative clauses. That was good. <laughs> yes. Uh, or the person who is the president in El Salvador. Nayibuke. Very good. Let's use relative classes. Great. Indication. Uh, you have to to write three names of famous people, three famous places, three objects, and three important dates. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yes. We don't have much time, so Richard, you can guess. Okay, you can help them guess. Okay, um, how are you doing here? Is it working? 
Give me a hint, uh, Amilcar. Uh, okay. It's a place where you where you have a beautiful view in Brazil. Oh, I think I know. What's the answer, Kelvin and Richard? Uh, no, sorry, the... Kelvin. <laughs> Kelvin, listen to Amilcar. All right, Amilcar, go ahead. It's a place where you have a beautiful view in Brazil. Uh -huh. What's the answer, Kelvin and Richard? I don't know. What is? Is it a Jesus Christ or something? <laughs> yeah, it's a Cristo Redentor. Cristo Redentor, oh. okay, that's the one. It's, okay. it's one of the eight wonderful, I think. Really? No, seven wonders? Are you yeah, kidding seven. me? <laughs> Cristo Redentor is part of that. No way. Yeah, I think it seven is. Seven wonders of the world. Let me check on that. Are you kidding me? 2020. <laughs> yes, it is. You're right. Yes. Are you kidding me? No way. <laughs> yeah, I want to travel there. Yeah, that would be cool. All right, Kelvin, tell us your hint. Uh, it's a person who acted in Titanic. Antes, uno que aparece que te va a dar mil dólares en Facebook. No sé qué, no lo he visto, no lo he visto. No, es uno, un, es uno pelón, se llama Dubai Johnson. Ah, ah pues no, ni no idea. Ay, búsquelo. Okay. Uh, the people live. Uh, the... How do, I don't know how to say die people day. Yes. <laughs> it's a day. It's the day where when is the day when every person in El Salvador give a hill and say happy new year. Ah, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, happy new year. <laughs> new year. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's the day uh, when the people celebrating for for uh, all the mom or mothers. Mother's <laughs> Day. Yes. <laughs> May 10th. Okay. okay. Finish? We finish. We see. No? Here's my pen. Okay, did you guys finish? Yes, yes some of you did. All right. Was it easy? No. <laughs> not easy. <laughs> Why not? It's not it's not easy because um some topics have mm -hmm. uh have to involve your hobbies or your knowledge about some topic. Yeah. Oh, so it, to give the hint, ah, so, I understand. I understand what you're saying. Okay. It's not the structure, yeah, but it's so, the answer. No, uh, it's, it's about the information. Yeah. I understand. Um, if if you have if you have if you have a conversation with with somebody, uh, you have to know the topics right. that you are talking about. 
<laughs> yes, I should have. Yeah. I should have said make it easy because some of the answers were very difficult. Anyway, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so relative clauses, we are finishing that topic. Is that clear? Clear. Sort to of? me, it's clear. Great. I'm glad. Yes, teacher. Yes, it is. Okay. Awesome. Very good. Let's continue then. Uh, this was a hard exercise, I think, the one we're going to see about Brazil, because the answers are not correct in the platform. So let's go there. I think it's section three. Let me see. And a lot of people had issues with the listening, the listening exercise. Check. Vocabulary for discussing celebrations. We already did that. Relative clauses, done, done. Celebrations in Brazil, I think. Let me get there. Have you done this? Exercise 3.4, yes, right? Teacher, disculpe, me voy a ausentar un momentito nomás. Hago algo aquí que me, se me presentó algo urgente. Ya me voy a incorporar. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead. All right, so this is the section we're going to work on, right? 3.5. Uh, Claudia, can you read the objective, please? In this class, you will listen to an audio about a carnival. This will help you develop skills in listening for specific information. Right. Very good. So let's do this listening. Um, some, are, some of the answers are incorrect, so you have to know that. That's what you get. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I... So what is Carnival, guys? What answer did you write? It's a party. 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 Okay. How long does it last? Four days. Four days. What did you write? Four days. Okay, I'm going to try that. I think it's going to say the answers are wrong because there is a problem with the exercise. But let's see. Uh, number three. February. Mm, February? March. It's February. late February or early March. Late February or late March. I think it's like this. Look. Late early February March. and early March. But you have to use at the beginning, on. Uh -huh. On late February or in early March, like that. 
Okay, let's try that. What is samba? Dance. It's, it's a dance. Samba. Okay, let's check. Everything is wrong. I think you Why? you have to. I think you have to use the period. Let me see the end. Let me try with that. Otherwise, I'll just show you the answers. Well, two are correct and two are wrong. So pay attention e there with the period. I'm gonna show you the answers, the, guys. Here. In the number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So take a look right now, please, because you don't have these answers and it's very complicated. It's like, uh, can somebody take a screenshot, please, and send it to the group, right? Because uh, a lot of people will be asking, I know, right? Section 3.6. Okay. Don't, you don't move. It? Please don't move the image. <laughs> okay. Okay. Benjamin, can yeah, you send it to thanks. the group? Yeah. Okay, section 3.6, so they can see that. Okay. So here you have to say, uh, it is a party. Not, you cannot use a contraction. It is a party or just party. Okay. Number two, four days period. It's on late February or early March. Okay. And four, the samba is a dance. It is a dance. Oh, look, you have to write capital letters. Okay. You have the answers? Um, wait, 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 wait. Teacher, yes. uh, I have, uh, I am seeing the image of the assistants mm -hmm. and I don't, and I don't dare. <laughs> oh, the attendance last night. Okay. <laughs> that was last oh. night. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> not today. Okay. Tonight we have to take another picture. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, okay. Let's continue then. Let's go to the next section. <coughs> section 3.7. Guys, by the way, don't forget, okay, this weekend you have to finish the midterm, okay? So midterm is due by, due by Sunday. This Sunday you have to finish the midterm, right? After you complete hmm. section three. So I will give you the answers of the midterm on Monday, but please you have to finish it by month by Sunday. Okay. All right, let's read this. Um, read the objective, please. Amilcar. Um, in this session session, you will listen and practice a conversation about wedding because Wedding customs, adverbial clauses of time will be introduced. Right, very good. <coughs> Wedding costumes. Let's watch. Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually, only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. 
And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? Can you see, guys? It's hard to see, right? Your wedding guests. Yeah, you can't see. You can barely see. All right, listen to this. Let's answer the questions about the reading, and then I will send you a better quality picture. Okay. Teacher. Of... Yes. No, no, no. Let's. Let's answer the questions on the on the listening. Okay. I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Okay, so what did they give each guest? What was the so we of? gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It's right there. What did they give them? A ceramic box filled with A uh, ceramic sweets. box filled with sweets. That's right. Okay. Now let's practice this dialogue. Um, I know you can you cannot see, right? You cannot see clearly. I'm gonna have to send you this. So you can practice it. They gave each guest a ceramic box. That's good. All right, practice the dialogue in pairs. And I need you to give me one minute because I have to find this. I, I have the book. One of your classmates gave it to me so I can see better. This is, okay. I'll send it to you in a minute. We're gonna practice in pairs, okay? If you can see, well, start practicing with that. Otherwise, give me one minute, okay? We're gonna work in pairs. All right, um, practice the dialogue and then modify it, all right? Accept the invitation, please. Everybody accept the invitation. You are Jill and I. <laughs> yeah, um, is... I'm going to be a Jill. Okay. 
Does this picture were taken right after the ceremony? Where they was the ceremony? Were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At the shrine. Si quieren dejo yo. Okay. The, your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. There are a lot of people there. Well, usually only families members and close friends go to the ceremony. But after all, we had a uh, They sometimes have the ceremony at, at a shrine. That's interesting. Were well, there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony, but afterward we had a reception with family and friends. Friends go to the ceremony, but afterward we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are reception like in Japan? There's a big... Okay. You finished practicing? Yes. Um, yes. And you did both? No. Nope. <laughs> both so both. right now, I am Jill. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, sorry. Okay. Change. You start. Okay, welcome back. I'm waiting for everybody to come back. I'm gonna take the picture right now before I forget. Let's give them 10 seconds, okay? You practice both? Yes, yeah. You practice Jill and Emiko, both? Right, very good. Let's take a picture, guys. Okay, I'm gonna send it to a group in a second. Say cheese. 
Thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a video. Let's watch. This is not part of the platform, okay? So I'm gonna Google it here. Marriage around the world. So some uh, interesting costumes they have around the world. Not the one. Oh, this is one. Okay, do me a favor, please. Everybody, get your notebooks out. And I want you to take notes of the country and the costume they do or the costumes they have in regards to weddings, okay? So pay attention, take notes, because at the end I will ask you questions about the costumes. Pay attention, please. Cultures throughout the world have their own unique ideas on how to say I do. We're taking you around the globe to show you how people celebrate their big day. The dollar dance, also known as the money or apron dance, is a tradition associated with countries all over, including Poland, Hungary, Nigeria, Philippines, and Mexico. These videos feature a Mexican-American wedding and Mexican-Filipino wedding. Money is tossed, handed, or pinned onto the couple, while different guests take turns dancing with the newlyweds. The money is a great way to help with a little extra financial support and to let them know you wish them a life of prosperity. Jumping the broom refers to a wedding tradition in which a couple literally jumps over a broom. There's a misconception that it began during slavery in the United States, but it originated in Ghana and is still practiced there. The broom holds spiritual value and symbolizes the sweeping away of evils and past wrongs. Today, some African-American couples include it in their ceremony as a tribute to tradition. In Greece, the kumbaro is similar to the best man. On the morning of the wedding, they help the groom prepare for the ceremony by helping them shave and get ready. It's a practice that signifies trust between close friends. In the days before the wedding, one or both of the fiancés are taken by their friends and family and covered in various substances like soot, feathers, food, and more. The tradition started as a way to ward off danger from supernatural forces. After being covered up, they're paraded around town while their friends make plenty of noise and make a scene for all to see. The Chinese tea ceremony is a wedding tradition that bonds two families together. While kneeling, the couple serves tea to their parents. Traditionally, the couple serves the groom's parents and elders in order of seniority, followed by the bride's family. This serves as a formal introduction to show respect and to express gratitude. In return, the couple usually receives lucky red envelopes with money or jewelry. In this pre-wedding ritual, turmeric paste is rubbed onto the couple's skin by friends and family. In India, turmeric can signify a lot of things, including purity, fertility, and good health. The paste also gives the couple a nice glow for their big day. The ceremony is usually accompanied by traditional song and dance and is supposed to ease nerves. This German tradition has guests smashing porcelain before the wedding to wish the couple luck in their married life. The couple is responsible for cleaning up the shards to symbolize teamwork. The more shards of broken dishes, the better the luck the couple will have. To show you Okay, let's talk about um, Mexico and the dollar dance. What is that costume about? I need everybody to participate, please. Come on. So what is the dollar dance about? Um. Mm -hmm. uh, this tradition is very, um, is very common in Latin America. Mm -hmm. Really? In in our in our country, our um, some weddings have that really? the dollar dance. Yeah, I've never seen that. Okay, 
What about uh, this tradition, jumping the, brood, the broom? What is it about? Let me see who will help. That's Amilcar? weird. <laughs> yeah, right. Amilcar, <laughs> what is it about? I don't know. <laughs> to celebrate in the United States. States. United States. What does this For... signify? What a big thing. Look. Okay, here's a broom. Let's jump. <clears throat> Pointless, but what is what does it signify? Do you remember? No idea. Okay, so tell me. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Chair. I think so. This tradition is for the niggers. For what? For who? Picture is a race of the time. The time. Before, uh, before, before. Ah, uh, to erase the past, you mean? Maybe. Yeah. Mm, okay, that could be. What is your favorite tradition, guys? What do you think about blackening? That is terrible. Um, nah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that's, about this? It, that's disgusting. Uh, so yeah, for me, the, um, the tradition, uh, the best tradition is the German, mm -hmm. German tradition that broke the dish. Yes. Um, is very simple and, and, and most significant. Mm -hmm. Because they have to clean the um, together that this mess. <laughs> the mess, yeah. Yeah. So it signifies and teamwork. And, and represents, yeah, and represents the teamwork and the support each other, right? Uh -huh. And equality, that's right. Okay, very good. Yes, those are some um, interesting traditions around the world. We're going to talk about weddings this unit. So we're going to talk about love, wedding, family next yeah. week. All right. So don't forget. Oh, yeah, children too, <laughs> I guess. Okay, don't forget to do the midterm, okay? The midterm during the weekend. You can do it anytime, but before the weekend, okay? Yeah, I'm going to copy paste our picture. Let me make sure I have it. Otherwise, I'm going to take another one. You see? Yeah. There it is. No, that's not it. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, questions? No? All right, good luck with the midterm then. I'll see you on Monday. Enjoy the weekend. Okay. Have fun. Stay safe. Have fun. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks, teacher. Bye. Bye. Pleasure. Bye-bye.